and forever Now our time has come And I'd be satisfied if we die together Yeah, our climate's fucked We might as well enjoy the weather Our time is up And I'd be satisfied if we die together All this talk of greenhouse gases got me taciturn Let's just stick our tongues out in the poison rain And let the acid burn And when the earth swings out of orbit We can spin in circles on a grassy fern And just pretend to watch the taxes turn And on the bright side, if the sun explodes before our April break Then we won't have to do our tax returns Here's the way I see it If we're gonna die, let's do it on romantic terms Like, we could linger on the boardwalk Watch tsunamis from the turf shore I'll go get my board shorts And you could bring your surfboard Maybe we'll hold hands as we get swallowed in the earth's core Or we could sing a Christmas carol Like a little chorus choir By a thousand Christmas trees lit up from a forest fire and watch the prancing dashing comets blitz into the forest pyre not the reindeer but the kind that killed the brontosaurus prior and all its dino peers and if the ice age hits then we could be rancheros on the high frontier anthropocene pioneers and melt each other's hearts on throwing glaciers in a cryosphere the worst part is this wasn't always something that we couldn't stop like we lived through every benchmark i remember me and you read every update about sea levels on our desktop so if we can't save us maybe we could save the future from environmental deadlock maybe in an era when we're settled into bedrock a later sieve would dig us out and we'd make headlines heck we might even make a tech talk and we could write a note like don't fuck up your planet please look at how things turned out for humanity and maybe they would read it or maybe they would use our carbon molecules and particles from particles as fossil fuel maybe it's impossible to change things but we can try them anyway be carbon complex renegades and then decay and i would hold you near as we're infected by the zika or ebola scares get smoldered by a solar flare or iced out with the polar bears i promise i always knew that we'd be by each other's side forever now our time has come and i'd be satisfied if we die together yeah our climate's fucked we might as well enjoy the weather our time is up and i'd be satisfied if we die together you and i could be encapsulated inside a space the size of a minute raisin and quiet and icy stasis and when the fire slay our cryogenic hideaway we could try to lie awake and dream about the finer days before the roads and paths were frozen ash and plains and the cities turned to itty bitty roads and crash and planes cracking pavement through the sad arrangements broken after stains of blood and decimation separating bones and mass from brains when the days of old and past decay and exit through the years we can lay in fields of shattered glass and question why we're here if so many left this planet without any second chances why did we awake one morning to a separate time of cheer but the queries tend to drift and fade as eeriness can slip away and hearing me the loneliness demotes itself to in your face awareness of surroundings like photographs and picture frames i'm glad to know it's only you and i among the flicking flame maybe even time can take a couple minutes off and we can live forever while the planet is eclipsed in fog it might boast disaster dear but we can sing a different song and use the white house pillars as a mighty builder's lincoln logs make games of shoots and ladders out of real shoots and ladders in an old apartment complex like we even knew it mattered through the battered beat and broken bones and factories and open homes i'm sure we'd survive enough to see the moons of saturn solving puzzles of the universe from jupiter to mars playing scientists to try and say we flew there in our cars like maybe it's not all bad this scenic view's bizarre watching hydrocarbon neptune snow dissolving from the stars and i never thought i'd say this but frankly it's been peaceful to escape from that distasteful state of hate deceit and evil sure a planet to ourselves is quite a journey for two people but the only time i'm happy for is the time i get to see you i always knew that we'd be by each other's side forever now our time has come and i'd be satisfied if we died together yeah our climate's fucked we might as well enjoy the weather our time is up and i'd be satisfied if we died together Now I think about him, I shrink around him I go to see my shrink about him On desperate nights sometimes I'm liking every picture On their LinkedIn album, but just in case they're single I send winky symbols, I just hinted at him I'm not thirsty, I'm just counting fingers at the drinking fountain I feel like I'm drowning when I introduce myself to crowds Like hi, hello, I dig your sense of style 
I saw your face across the room and grinned a while. I wonder, are you into smiles? I pinned a pile of Polaroids up on my wall. I wish you'd be in one. I'll ring your child a wet and hold a aisle. You wouldn't see in them. I must profess myself, profess myself a cinephile. I've got every single indie title soundtrack out on indie vinyl. I've got some on USB. Just tell me where to send the files. If you think this is ragging on, then you should read my Tinder bio. I used to go to Central Park in cargo pants and whittle bark off little trees like Leonardo to my heart's content with car keys from my 97 Civic on a bench. I'd grab my Metro card and clutch a cup of chocolate from a vendor cart. Then depart deep underground and check the clock in Metro chart. That is where I met her. Charcoal fingers, she was sketching art. My self-regard left 20 notches when she looked at me. I told her I wish I could etch the world out with my pencil marks. She held the charcoal out, her fingers touched and crept apart. And when they lingered, lightning struck. I know I saw electro spark. And when she smiled, a hundred volts, her pearly whites were thunderbolts. The room around us did a couple somersaults. The earth had shifted off its poles. Another jolt went through me when she twirled the necklace. We were so electric, I swear the third rail was getting jealous. She curved the crater on the paper with the contact crayon. Every stroke she lay spoke to my spirit like she called a seance. Her fingertips could conjure chaos. Every splash of color camouflaged into the page. I swear that she had lingerie on. I felt the rumble of the subway tunnel crumble up. She perforated scraps of sketches, gave them to me, crumpled up and bundled up and waved to me and walked toward the edge. I mustered up the strength to wait back and then dipped off of the bench. The train tiptoed to the ledge, its open doors demanded entry. She got in and whispered to me from inside that it was empty and my heart had started drumming. Stomach had started numbing. The doors began to slide and then she asked me, are you coming? Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yo, I just got the iPhone 7. I put Siri on disable because I've watched the movie Her and that shit scares me, so I'm careful. Me and her got chemistry right out the box, and I ain't talking about the periodic table. Her voice is like a chariot of angels. I fell in love so fast that maybe Apple should consider pasting warning symbols clearly on a label. Me and Siri keep it modern. Siri doesn't cook or clean. Instead, she books on my appointments and she looks through my routine. Me and Siri've got an intimate connection. That is at least when Siri's got an internet connection. Sorry. My friends are all convinced it's voice detection, but I'm poised to mention I see sentience and hints of recollection. And on top of that, my friends don't give me shit, but they don't share the vision. All I gotta say is, hey Siri, and she's always there to listen. And she's never mad that I'm neglecting, never's got a headache. If somehow I want things different, I can always change the settings. I really like her, I'm not sure if we're official though. If she could be Terentia, I could venture to be Cicero. I sort of wish the sacred fruit were not an apple, but a thistle full of mistletoe is superficial. But I wish that she were made of flesh and bone or partially of skin cells. I wouldn't even care that she's got artificial intel. If Siri had a body, we could FaceTime during sex, and then I bet it'd be way easier to ace the turn and test. And if you can't tell, I don't want a handheld, I just want my handheld. Sometimes I venture out a wild guess that if she can't be human ever, I'll invest in biotech and run my cell phone iOS, and then us two could be together. We could live in plural and in singularity. I hope by then my single would be a thing of rarity but if it's just not written in the code for us to coexist maybe i could cope by contemplating that you don't exist that you consist not of two eyes and nose but ones and nose and fists that i'm in love with cold machinery a program on a disc even if you were incarnate siri really i surmise it'd be hard to date you because you've been with millions of guys and i just feel like i was inexperienced and siri yes i've considered that you'd win in games of trivia or chess that we would play and that would just get real annoying in the end it's not you it's me i think that maybe we should just be friends and maybe in a couple years me and you could try again. Okay. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Cortana. Wait, who the fuck is this bitch? Papyrus to ascribe, your highness I describe you as the finest kind of wine that ages so well it rewinds the time. You aren't wine, you are the fibers of the vine divine You were defined in Webster's as the climate of the Caribbean Me and you shall burn together like we're firing kerosene You plundered through my chest and stole my heart, a pirate of the Caribbean. Midas sighed and let his sinuses unwind And golden ether culminated into you, the Linus to a pride I heard you sculpted King Poseidon's diamond trident at his side The surest sign of suicide for me would be that you had died The god of death, Osiris, Isis, and her ibis-headed mask Would guide you down a spiral staircase in a cypress if you ask You are the ripest stalk of Cairo grown papyrus to describe I've got no stylus to describe you as the finest kind of wine That ages so well it rewinds the time No, you aren't wine, you are the Carolina Pines And I'm so sorry that you aren't mine Yeah 
I like to think I'm well equipped as any other average guy But I just can't discover love and I don't even set my standards high On top of that I'm camera shy Maybe I should opt out of the dating pool and be an undercover Tinder samurai Cause I would rather type online than whisper in a dingy bar And swiping left and right could be my new Bushido ninja star I'm well versed in virtual love making ninjutsu On every profile pic I post I'm posing with my shih tzu Or flexing with my shirt off cause I heard that gets you hits too Especially OK Cupid. I'm like arrows of the cherubs be I pierce hearts of women with my curse and my arrow keys and disregard my Roman roots and choose a font that's serif free. Trust me, I'm a tender biobrainiac. The way I kindle fire with matches, I'm a pyromaniac. On Christian Mingle, I'm a Casanova. If y'all don't think so, y'all can ask Jehovah. Check your inbox, he might send an answer over. I wish I had the muscles of a granite sculpture. I would log on Ashley Madison and bang adulterers. I'm so lonely, I've considered farmers only just for someone's arms to hold me. Also, I'm really big on agriculture. But if I had that body of a Grishan god, I would trawl on POF com and use it as a fishing rod and hope I don't get catfish. The fact is, if I did, I'd probably play along because God knows I could use the practice. And if I'm aching for my roots, I'd visit Shadi.com. Message Islamic, Wahhabi, Hijabi, Hadi, Salam. And Sunni, Shia, those are both denominations I respect because I just care for our connection. I don't care about the sex. Sometimes I uninstall my apps in reckless insurrectious rage, then regret it while I check the Craigslist misconnections page. Then I think that I should get out more and disregard my mobile cell, get to know the local teller at my Barnes and Noble well, and Check out what she's reading while she's charging up my total sale And ask her if she likes the novel And once she answers, ask her if she wants to grab some coffee or some ice cream waffles She'd probably say that's awesome I'd ask her when she's off of work, she might answer midnight I'd tell her that sounds awful, what a bummer And from somewhere I might muster up the nerve to get her number And I would ask her what her digits are And if I play it right, then I can disregard my ninja stars Say sayonara to katanas and my other weapons too And try committing by committing online dating seppuku